Hello everyone, I'm James Baltzer, better known as PFC Baltzer, United States Marine, Vietnam, 1968 to 1969. And I'm bringing up issues that I think people should be aware of, whether they're the police, the fire, the paramedics, the military, the veterans. Today, and patriotic, I'm talking about statues, monuments that are being torn down. But before I begin, I'd like to encourage everyone to join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless America, Semper Fi. Today I just wanted to bring to everyone's attention the statue of Christopher Columbus. There's been movements in the country to tear down, they've torn down, they've removed statues of Columbus. I totally disagree with that. I think the Statue of Columbus should stay. It's a tribute to Italian-Americans, but all Americans. I'd also like to bring up the fact that there are other statues that are being torn down. Thomas Jefferson tearing down a statue and, uh, or st of Thomas Jefferson? I disagree. Ulysses S. Grant, a general from the Civil War who helped free the slaves, tearing down a statue of Ulysses S. Grant? I totally disagree with that. It's wrong. A statue of all people, Abraham Lincoln, to tear down his statue or take it down? This was a great man. This is a great man that brought our country together, helped people. The nation was divided. He fought to free the slaves, and they did. General Logan, I can't believe this, here in our city of Chicago, a statue of General Logan. There's a movement to remove him. They're looking at reasons to remove General Logan. Again, he fought in the Civil War. He was on the Union side. He fought to free the slaves. He also is the founding father of Memorial Day, one of our most, our, our most sacred holiday, our most sacred holiday. We think of over a million men and women that have died for our country, and all of those in the Union Army that fought to free the slaves. We also have President McKinley, President McKinley, what did he do? What, what did he do that's so offensive? He fought in the Civil War. He fought on the Union side. He fought to free the slaves. He was assassinated. And to think, to deface his statue, to tear it down? I don't know what a person is thinking or what people are thinking when they do this. That's, that is totally wrong and I totally disagree with it. Also, let's look at Some other issues, looking what, it, number one, it's illegal to tear down these statues. It is wrong. You're, you're destroying public property. Number two, very important, it's costing the taxpayers millions of dollars. Police protection, restoring the statues or removing them, that, that's costing us, the taxpayers, a lot of money. So I want people to think about that. People can get hurt. People are getting hurt when they're tearing down these statues. They're fighting over a statue? You've got to be kidding me with that. I agree with a person's right to disagree, but let's disagree peacefully about this. Let's debate these issues. Talk about them. There's other ways to do this. The police. The police have more important issues than trying to protect statues. We're having people killed, shot, murdered, robberies. I believe there's more important things for police to do. Also, if you're looking back at everyone who's in their distant family owned slaves, President Obama's family owned slaves on his mother's side. That, what, 50 years from now, are we going to tear down a statue from him, of, of, of him? I totally disagree with that. It's time for our nation to heal its wounds, come together, join as one, Americans, let's all be proud that we are Americans. And to, to tear down these statues is so wrong. Let me close in saying that this is a great country. We've had wrongs in our country, there's no question about it, I'll admit that. However, many men and women have died defending our nation, defending it and tearing down these statues do not lead to any good, they further divide our nation. So I ask everyone to come together, 
join together, let's resolve these issues peacefully. And as I always say in closing, God bless America, Semper Fidelis, this is a great country. And if you like what I have to say, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.